show you a simple way to take an activity, a PDF file that your teacher gave you and kind of switch it or transform it over so that it is a document that you can write on and then turn in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Schoology account and find the activity that your teacher wanted you to work on. So I am going to uh, refer to this one, this counting on with money. When I click on it, it is going to download on to my computer. So depending on whether you have a Mac or a PC, you're going to have to find out where that file, that uh, download file is. Uh, for me, it's down here at the bottom of the screen, so it makes it pretty simple. The next thing I'm going to do while I'm still in Google Chrome, because you need to be in Google Chrome for this, is I'm going to look for something called Kami. Kami is an extension for Google Chrome, and what it does is it allows you to take a document, and you upload the document, and then you can write on it or type on it and uh, do whatever you need so you don't have to keep printing out papers and working on them. So I'm going to click on this extension. Uh, when you start this originally, it's going to ask you, for I believe an email account and then it's going to ask to download the extension so that every time you open Google Chrome you're going to see it and if you look at my top right hand corner of my screen you're going to see that K there that is Kami. So I'm going to click on Kami because I already have mine downloaded and it does give you some uh, options that you can use. I am going to actually click open from computer. So when I go to open from computer, mine is already preset to my downloads, so I know that I'm going to use this counting on with money. So I'm going to open it up, and like I said, it so it takes this paper that you were normally not able to type on, and what you're going to do now is you have some options. You can click on a text box, and you can count your money, so 25, 35, 45, 55 cents. So I could, you know, say, um, you know, you could type it in there. Um, the easiest for some of your littles would be to take the drawing feature and, you know, they can pick whatever color they want. So it was at 55 cents and they could just type, write 55 cents and they could keep going however you wanted them to do it. So if you wanted them to write it, you know, however, whichever way you want, there's an eraser there. So they could erase what they've done and redo it. And again, as you erase, it's not changing the actual document, which is really nice. So once you're done with this, right here it's asking you to save, to drive, or dismiss. Um, you are actually going to X out of there. You have the option to save it. Uh, it's going to save all changes saved, or it'll ask you to download. So I'm going to actually download it. And it's exporting the download to my... Um, my screen. So if you look at the bottom, now it's called a Kami export. So mine successfully downloaded, so I'm going to just click on that Kami export. It's going to open it up for me. And now you can see that I actually wrote on this document now and it saved exactly what I did. So that is step one. If you have to submit in Schoology, which keep in mind, this page right here, there's no submit button. So this was probably just a practice page that the teacher wanted them to work on. So what you really want to look for if you're submitting a document is you want there to be an assignment that says over here, there'll be, a sub, there'll be an assignment here, and then there's going to be something that says submit assignment. Now, in this case, this student has submitted a few times. Uh, I've been using this as an example. But you'll see a button that says Submit Assignment. If you don't see that button, then that was not an activity that you needed to submit to your teacher. So keep that in mind. But if I'm going to submit the assignment, I would click on Submit. And you are on Upload right now. So you've got Upload and Create Choices. I am just going to upload this because I'm uploading a document. And once I do that, I see it right in my downloads, so I'm going to click on it and open it. And there it is downloading. So I can go ahead and submit that. And now there's my submission for that, and I can look at it. It's going to show me what I submitted and the answers that I had. So this is what the teacher would see on their site when they were going to check it. So I hope that helps give you some sort of insight as to downloading an activity to complete and present on Schoology. If that's something that's a little bit too hard, 
keep in mind that you can always open and download the activity and you could open it up and actually be looking you can um make your tabs actually i made my whole tab big here but what you could end up doing is having your student in both environments at the same time so i could click that re